Something else that is coming to central Iowa that brings thousands of people in because it's a spectacle and it's a spectacle that lasts for more than a week. Yeah, we told you we would have other reasons that you want to head down to Indianola and that includes, of course, the very famous Indianola Balloon Festival. And we have Tim Cloyd joining us this morning to give us all the details. Good morning. How about that? The Thanks. National Balloon Classic. How about it? It is here. Hey, Thank you for having me on yeah. today. Oh, our pleasure. And uh, things get started, uh, you know, they get started early, before, uh, this early on uh, Friday, right? Friday evening yep. is the first flight and then it goes morning and evening till Saturday, August 4th. There you go. Now, uh, Friday's going to be a little unusual. You and I were just talking off the air about uh, the event that's going to be taking place on Friday evening that people might not have heard about. A little fun competition. We uh, try to tip the outhouse over, not just walk up to it. We have to fly to it. And that's tip the, challenging. You're, you're actually tipping over an outhouse. Yes, with a, no, you bump sorry. It with a balloon? A non non occupied. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yes. oh, I thought maybe you had a whole row of them and you just no. pick somebody out at, at random. <laughs> no. So what happens? Well, we actually fly our basket to it and actually have to hit it with the basket. And then just and knock it over. Knock it over oh. and for competition. How, who thought of this is what I want to know. Back in back in the day, as they say, somebody, uh, a balloonist accidentally launched a little prematurely and did tip one over with someone in it actually occupied. So we thought we'd carry on that uh, fun uh, accident. Yeah, tr <laughs> now, now become a tradition. Yes, it, it is. Like. Every Friday. And yes. how long have you guys been doing this? The National Balloon Classic's been, well, the balloons in Indianola have been 1970 is when it began. They, they had the U.S. National, Balloon National, still in 80 nine and then it continued on i mean we have this year over 91 balloons here and wow. so we have gone you know for getting nearly 50 years now and yeah. where are these balloons coming from or do we have that many air balloon pilots in our area oh yes but they're all over the nation and even some international pilots will be in this okay. year yeah well, well tim cloyd you've been flying for how long uh 10 years oh well 11 years yes. 11 years yes and do you have a name for your for your uh, balloon S sunlight as in s-o-n light sunlight, sunlight. yes sunlight. Okay. Very everybody good. has a name yeah, everybody has their own you know of course mine is the best looking but yeah of course, yeah, of course is, yeah. everyone feels that way so yeah unbelievable so things kick off friday night a lot of fun but it is, is a competition and that officially kicks off uh when well sunday morning i believe is the first competition okay. flight and the mornings are the heavy competition okay. and, and what do they mean by competition what, what, do you comp is that to fly a balloon up in the air or what do you have to do you have targets you have to fly to and drop baggies at so if you're the closest to the center of the x of the first target you're you know, and they measure out, and then each target gets points, and through the entire week you gain points to get, get an overall champion. All right, some people may not have known that. Absolutely. So things kick off Friday, but the official grand ceremonies, opening ceremonies, when are they happening? They are Saturday, and, okay. and you will be there. I will be there. Yes, you will. Yeah, always excited anthem. to be a part of this wonderful event. And when do those festivities begin? I believe around 4 in the afternoon okay. is when the official kickoff begins. Okay. But, of course, uh, we will have... There's a parade in Indianola, a wacky parade, they call it. Uh, uh, I think 1 o'clock that day, okay. uh, or 11 o'clock. And then uh, we'll have, uh, you know, it's family fun entertainment. You've got it at $5 for six and up per person to mm -hmm. get in there in the evenings and free in the mornings. Oh, it is? Yes. So if you want to see the balloons launch in the, in the morning up yes. close, you can see that. Yes, there is. And now, what time are the launch times? Uh, so they give people an idea. Uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. are the launch times to plan for. Okay. As well, we also have uh, there's fit, uh, there's family uh, the kid activities the kid zones uh, the fantastic entertainment we got to mention that yeah I was in a, I was looking at the the bands that are going to be performing in the entertainment this is like people that have been on this program is, is what this is oh this, is, this okay, is like good. a CW Iowa live uh, like roster here the Nadas mm -hmm. okay they're performing on Friday night uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels on Saturday Damon Dotson on Sunday Royce John another friend of ours on Monday dueling guitars with Brian. Cogden and uh, uh, Brad Suddenfield, uh, Sons of Gladys Kravitz, who we've seen at Zoo Brew. Uh, Josh Sinclair is yeah. going to be there uh, with Nicholas. Uh, the Brazilian Twins. Yeah. How about how fun is that? Uh, next Friday, a week from Friday, and then Jason Brown wraps things up. So like a who's who of who's been on this program. Yes, and also fireworks and Dawn Patrol flights. 
They are Dawn Patrols will be launched about 45 minutes before sunup. Expect a 515 launch into the dark. Oh, yeah. And they fly. I'm actually one of the Dawn Patrol pilots, so we fly in the dark until sun comes up to land. Well, so people say you've been flying in the dark for a while. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why do you think people get so excited about this festival? Um, because How can you we're, we're just on the hill watching you guys take off. You get the rest of the excitement flying the balloon and trying to be part of the competition or just go for a beautiful ride. But why is it exciting for us to go and attend? Oh, the colors are amazing, what you see. And if you can't get a picture, oh, you've got a problem. It is amazing to see all the balloons in the air. It's just, and the night glows as well. We mm -hmm. have a Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday night glow where a lot of times you can walk out, the, everyone can walk out to us as we're standing on the ground. So it's just awesome to watch them fly. Yeah, How just large are these balloons? We see the pictures here, and I don't think people realize the massive size of these things. Uh, they're usually about 70 to 80 feet tall. And, uh, That's about an eight-story, nine-story building. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, some can be, well, 60,000 cubic feet, which is, well, I say 70 feet tall and maybe a 70-foot circumference. Mm -hmm. uh, they are big. Yes, they are very large. Yeah, just a stunning visual, especially when you said 91 balloons coming this yes, year. Yes, uh, 91 registered balloons. Unbelievable. But uh, while they're taking off and, and riding off into the distance, a ton of fun every single night, as you heard, live music, great activities for the kids, foods available, drink. Uh, so it's just a big party and every single night. Chance for balloon rides if I you want to go down say, there. Yes. What, what if people want to take balloon rides? How they do offer do them. Too? They offer. You have to contact the uh, National balloon classic or just show up and there are but the, you can book it through I think on the fly uh, national balloon classic dot com will mm -hmm. have the information about where you can book your flight that is awesome. I love it, it. It, again this is one of the events uh, you know it puts uh, you know Des Moines on the map when you Absolutely. see the balloons take off from here it yeah. is the largest the week-long event in the country mm -hmm. yes wow mm -hmm. unbelievable so make sure you get there early remember there are early morning flights and evening flights uh, though in the morning it's absolutely free only five dollars uh, for you to get in in the evenings but everything kicks off Friday with a grand ceremony opening on Saturday that is wonderful correct. That is thank please. you so much awesome. thank you for thank having you me. for being here yeah we wish you the best uh, with your competition flights this year and see if you can knock over the oh, house no. on Friday. <laughs> We're all cutting on you. Oh, you know, oh, yes. so we want to make sure that you're you're the king of the throne. I there hope so. so. Speak, okay, and that's the whole idea. Watch all people right. fly into the balloon. Uh, balloon, excuse me. If you want to learn more about the National Balloon Classic, head over to their website, nationalballoonclassic.com. We'll